governor also talked about a photo of him posted over the weekend where you see here he's not wearing a mask or social distancing. Of course, that goes against his own guidelines. The governor admits today it was a mistake. That is no excuse. I should have had that mask on. I thought I was going to be in there for 30 seconds and paying uh, to get my bag of feed, so to speak, my, my dinner, and then walk out. I ended up, was asked if I would take a picture uh, with the cashier and her daughter, and I did. And at that point, I should have marched myself out, got in my car, got the mask, should have wore it in, by the way, but got the mask and then took the photo. Now, Governor Holcomb did issue a written apology immediately after 13 investigates inquired about that social media post. Tonight, Brown County residents, medical professionals, and even town leaders, they are all weighing in on the governor's lesson learned. Here's our Sandra Chapman with a new call for action. A perfect spring day turned into a social media frenzy Saturday in Brown County. Snapshots showed bikers and others congregating in Nashville, violating Indiana's COVID-19 safety guidelines. All these people that converged on our town, we don't know if they're carriers or not. As town council members tried reaching Governor Holcomb to complain, the governor himself popped up in a post in violation two. We were just absolutely dumbfounded. And <clears throat> there's the governor in the middle of all of this. It just was so completely and, and totally shocking. He not only needs to, to apologize for not wearing a mask, he needs to apologize to the citizens of my county. Sunday, the governor issued an apology to Hoosiers and healthcare workers, calling his failure to wear a mask while picking up food a lapse in vigilance. Hoosiers weighed in, saying, obviously, these government officials know more than what they are saying. Pence with no mask and now Holcomb. And give the guy a break. You're not perfect, and during this isolation period, you violated the order as well. We all have. But for these Brown County residents, it's not a simple mistake overblown. My dad was one of the Bethany Point um, people that died, one of the 30 people at Bethany Point that died from this. So this is very personal to me. we got to make sure we're doing this right. And that's prompting a renewed call for testing. Brown County has tested just 79 people so far. Jackson and Bartholomew have tested over 650 people. Johnson County more than 3,600, and Morgan and Monroe counties well over 1,300. We definitely do need more testing. We do not have a hospital, a medical facility in Brown County. Concerned over more premature gatherings, Paula, Patty, and Nancy hope the governor will step up now to help Nashville develop a more clear plan to reopen to tourists. The governor has to show the leadership and request and request that people follow him. No one has been harder on myself than myself. The governor says he understands the concerns over large gatherings and is willing to work with communities across the state to address them.